Welcome back into episode 78. So I'm going to be hard pressed to outdo last week's video. Actually getting the car running was epic for me. I mean that's uh, 18 months of you know breaking off that spark plug, taking the engine out, rebuilding all the bits and bobs, steering rack, fueling system, brake system, uh, and everything else, whatever other bits I've done. Um, so to finally get it turning over and running, uh, and it's actually running really nice now, uh, over the moon. This week's video, what I want to try and do is actually get it moving. So trying to outdo last week's will be actually driving the car for the first time. Uh, I can't take it on the road, it's not taxed or insured. Although in the UK, these cars, because it's over 40 years old, this is 40, this is 79, so it's 43 years old, this car doesn't actually need uh, a road tax. So I can drive on the road free as long as it's got car insurance, which I don't have the insurance. Um, but what I want to do is just drive up and down my driveway a bit. I've probably got 20 meters I can, I can back out, something like that. If I can get it moving, I think that's a fantastic uh, milestone again. So to do that, I'm, um, I'm not gonna do tackle all of the gearbox work. The gearbox is the part I'm looking at. What I want to do is do an oil service on it. Uh, I, I don't know when it was last touched. I've had obviously the radiator out, which has got the oil cooler for the gearbox in there, so it'll be low on fluid, because obviously a, a radiator full of fluid has come out of it. Put a new filter on it, drain it, clean it, get it filled back up again. I think it's a bit of an ordeal to get it filled. Easy, but takes a bit of time. Uh, and just get the car to move, and I'll be happy. That'll be this, uh, this week if I can do that. Um, so without further ado, um, please click the subscribe button, keep growing my channel for me, uh, click the like button, leave comments as ever, tell me what I'm doing wrong, uh, if you see or hear anything, give me a comment, uh, but let's just get in and see how I get on this week. Right, so first job is the oil gearbox. Um, so I need to drain the oil out via the, uh, actually there's the diff, so there's the very easy diff um, drain plug, so we'll have that one out. Then um, drain out the gearbox. It's like a sump, a metal sort of pan that fits on the bottom of the gearbox. Drain that out, remove the pan, change the filter, and then it's reassemble and uh, fill it back up. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward. I think it takes a bit of time, but let's try and see how we get on. So in every uh, write-up you see, people say, always make sure the fill plug comes out uh, before you take the drain plug out. Well, I didn't have a socket set that would fit in here. So I went ahead and took the drain plug out. And of course, my fill plug didn't want to come out. Well, I've got it loose, luckily. Um, and this is how you measure braveness. I got my torch on it. Bear in mind the fuel tank's right next to me. I'm that confident my fuel tank is secure and uh, not leaking that I put a bit of heat on this. Heat it up and a lot of penetrating fluid and after so probably about 10 minutes, it's just started to undo. So I'm happy to report the fill plug is coming out. Right, I've given it a, a bit of a tidy up. But, um, I've not gone overboard because I don't want to get any dirt inside the two holes. Uh, what I'm going to do first then is, before I give it a final tidy up, is uh, talk the drain plug up. Right, that's at 20 now. Right, the fill up on this is pretty straightforward. Um, I've got my pump. I'm just going to poke it in there like that. And, oops, and basically pump it until it flows out the top. It's fairly unsophisticated, but I'm sure it gets the job done. to me like we're full, okay. Okay, good. So I'm gonna let that just settle down uh, while I tidy up the, the plug and uh, then we'll just put the plug back in. Both torque now up to 20 uh, newton meters. I'm still not super happy that this isn't wound in deeper. Top one's gone back to where it was. Uh, I can't remember how deep this one was, but I thought it was deeper than it is at the moment. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Um, I'm just sort of drying up to make sure I can tell whether it's leaking. And uh, we'll go from there. So 
So the gearbox has drained quite nicely. This is what it looks like with the pan off here. Uh, and I've taken the filter out as well. And now what I need to do is drain the torque converter. So um, I'm going to be looking in this window and rotating the crank until I can see the drain screw, uh, the drain plug. Um, I think probably from a factory car, so one that's not been uh, had the flex plate undone, when you put it at TDC, the uh, drain plug features here, is visible here, but as mine's been off and I've spun it around and around a few times, uh, it doesn't line up. So what I need to do is turn the crank until the drain plug's visible. Now I can't do that easily unless I cheat and put a little GoPro underneath. So that's what I'm doing now. I've just sort of positioned it. I'm gonna go and turn the crank and stop when I see it. So with the, um, I've got my preview showing the uh, the torque converter and I can see where the, um, the little hatch where it's supposed to line up. All I'm gonna do, if I can reach down, and I could do it from under, actually I'd lay underneath the car because that can actually turn a bit easier. And I'm gonna rotate the crank until it lines up. Simple as that. I don't know if you can see from there, but that lines up now perfectly. Well, not the most comfortable position, but I've got my um, my nice long Allen key here. I didn't check the size actually. Let me have a quick look. Uh, probably this may not be bright enough for me to actually be able to read it. Uh, it's a five mil socket set. Uh, sorry, five mil Allen head, and that goes in the torque converter there. Now I would like a. I may actually go get a hammer and just give it a couple of taps uh, just to really check it's pushed in there because uh, we're going to have one go at this and if it strips I'm pretty much screwed I'd say. Okay so I have my hammer now. Let's give it a little bit of a... It's not just about seating it properly in the, <clears throat> in the, uh, in the head, it's about shocking it a little bit to hopefully uh, loosen it. Now, I'm going to spray that into my face because I work better when I've got penetrating oil in my eye. Uh, and let's see if we can undo it. I hate this sort of thing. Ugh. Okay, come undone. Fairly easy, I think. Just checking. Yeah, it's turning, so okay. No big deal. Um, I'm going to get my. <clears throat> my collector container put it underneath and then do it undo it from a bit of arm's length so i don't get completely soaked uh so let's do that now I have to slide back out it's not the easiest place unfortunately That's... it doesn't feel too bad in there um i'm always worried that i'm going to strip something from my earlier episodes I'm just roll my sleeve up as well. Um, I'm always half expecting something to shear off nowadays. But this has come out really nicely. Um, I think, hopefully you can see that. I think it's just gonna squirt straight down. Let's get the, get that out of the way. Don't need that covered in transmission fluid. Ready? Steady, <laughs> go. Oh, <laughs> okay, do that again. Ready, <laughs> steady, go. Oh, it's not that much. All over my glove, but there's not that much actually, is there? Well, it's probably a liter or so. Um, I don't know if that's been underfilled or anything. I was surprised how little fluid came out of the whole thing, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's uh, leaked out somewhere along the line. Also, bearing in mind I've had the the cooler and the radiator all undone and probably drained a lot of fluid out that way. So perhaps it's right. Anyway, I'm going to leave this to drain uh, probably for the rest of the day. The new fluid's arrived. I'll tidy up the, um, the plug. I've got new crush washers for everything uh, and we can start putting it back together, I think. 
I need to remember there's another Allen head bolt there I started undoing thinking it was probably related but I'll do that back up now. So we've drained the diff, I've taken obviously the torque converter draining now, I've got the, uh, the pan off with the filter and that obviously was drained as well. The only thing I've not drained then is these lines and I could just quickly whip those off and pull, um, see if there's anything in there. I don't think there's anything in it because of how it's been uh, undone at the other end. Um, I'll have a think, see if I'm gonna drain those. I also need to talk about or think about replacing these lines completely, which I'd like to do. I'm not gonna do it in the uh, immediately because I wanna get the thing running and just see that it moves. But I think that's probably one of the next jobs to do, which is going to be tricky now I've got the engine in, but hey, you know, that's how we roll. Right, because it's not the nicest place to be, I'm going to try and do this all in one go, or as much as I can in one go, if I can get my holy glove back on. Right, so the torque converter's uh, just drained out. Uh, now I've got a torque wrench here set to 13 and a half newton meters which is 10 foot pounds um what i'm trying to do is see into the box of bolts so i can pick up the, the uh, correct one there she is that's that one there right so let's screw this back in now we're going to put the filter in I probably had to shuffle around a little bit. Where did I put the filter? Right, this is the filter. I just bought um, a kit from, I can't remember where I got it now. Might have been Design 911, I can't remember. It came with the filter and um, the gasket, which I'll show you in one second. So I'm just gonna reach and get the screw, like that. Makes it a bit more exciting doing it with uh, oil drip or ATF dripping on your head. Uh, what I want to do is just try and get it in finger tight just quickly. Yeah, that'll do. And then try and get the other bolt, which is there. I got it. Definitely a little bit more challenging not having a car lift. Uh, I will buy one at some point. Uh, but this is how most of us do car mechanic, mechanical repairs and things is in our garage laying on our back. So I'm just tightening this up gently. I'm not gonna, I don't think it has a specific torque spec. I'm just gonna nip the screws up. They're not under any load or anything. I'm afraid a lot of this is me lying on my back the, uh, this week. Um, right, so the pan bolts are to eight newton meters. So I'm gonna do this up now, which is pretty slack. Uh, I think that's so that the, oops, if I can get this to click. I think it's so that the, um, the seal, the rubber seal doesn't get compressed too much. Right, it's quite hard to film under here, actually. This is obviously the gearbox. There's the pan there. This is the fill-up reservoir. So I'm just gonna undo the cap. Uh, I'm gonna make a very quick clean up, uh, just to stop there being so much grit around. So cap off, I'm gonna go clean that back at the, at the bench. Uh, and then we're gonna pump liquid in here, fill it up, let it drain through, fill it up, run the engine, etc., And try and get uh, as much liquid in as we can. I'll try and get a good position so you can see what I'm up to. So I'm um, pumping the ATF fluid back up into the reservoir. I'm using one of these hand pumps and I've got to say it's pretty useless. Probably 50% of what I uh, pump in is air, which obviously then has to be bubbled out. And I've had to remove the filter to get the pipe to sit in there neatly, which I don't really like doing, but I mean, super careful. It's going in very slowly. Oops, sorry. Um, but I don't think I can uh, record while I do this because it's actually pretty tricky and there's not a lot of space under here. Actually, that's pretty unfair. It's now I've got it, um, the coupling sort of set right, how the pipe's 
uh, connect up is pretty good actually. Uh, all I need to do, I'll just do it with one hand, you can see the level in the reservoir going up. I'll stop there, let it filter down, which is presumably coming along this pipe here where my thumb is and into the sump or the pan. So let's let it go down and then fill it back up again. You can see there's not that, that much air going in there now. It's not one of those landmark moments for me. Uh, I've done the gearbox oil change. I've run in each gear, pressing the brake, uh, and making sure the oil all circulates, and it's now come back and it's sitting. I've actually left it about midway between the min and max. Um, and I'm gonna keep an eye on that, but that's uh, done and sealed back up, put the cap on. Um, I've put the car back down, so the car's uh, on all four wheels. I've been around making sure there's nothing in the way. I've had a little look at the engine because it's not ticking over, or it's ticking over fine, but it won't rev up very well, it's a bit poppy, so I've just adjusted the mixture a little bit, but that's going to be an ongoing uh, project, I'm sure. But what I want to do is actually reverse the car out. So this will be the first time it's moved under its own steam since I've had it, which is uh, a year and a half, and probably a number of years before that. I don't know how long, but it's probably quite a few. Uh, so it's quite a landmark to actually get it moving under its own steam. The seats aren't bolted in, so it's going to be a little bit awkward, but I'm going to try. Uh, and all I want to do is actually reverse it out onto the driveway, uh, stop it, have a look around, pull it back in. That's pretty much it for today. Uh, I'm hoping it works. I've been all over it. I've checked everything I can to make sure it's not leaking. It's not going to blow a pipe off and pour oil all over my driveway. Uh, but let's just try. Let's get do it. Okay, I managed to get the car back in the garage uh, relatively easily. How cool is that though, that actually uh, to drive the car, okay, driving in uh, quotes, I think it's just the air horn, uh, to actually drive it was so cool, to see it move again. Uh, there's a few weird noises and I think the whining noise I can hear is actually, uh, I think the oil is still circulating around that gearbox. I've got no idea when this car was last driven. Looking on the, uh, the DVLA, which is the, the UK's driving license thing, uh, you can look up MOTs. MOT is the test we have to do on a car every year. Um, this last had an MOT in 2006. So 
if that was the last time it that's the la last time it could have legally been on the road so it could have been driven in you know since then uh, on someone's driveway but if we take that as the the last time it was actually driven legally on the road probably the last time it was driven what is that like 16 years ago the gearbox probably hasn't been run up for that time so you know there's no wonder it's making some weird noises um, I've actually had the car out today uh, out onto the driveway again uh, for a bit and there aren't any noises so I think it perhaps is just that fluid sort of trying to get circulating um, I've also adjusted the timing a little bit which I, I realized afterwards I did a little bit wrong so that's running even better now uh, looks really good um, so not a bad week really pleased to get the car moving I also went to the NEC motor show if you look at my short videos you see uh, what I got up to there fantastic uh, 9, eight, 9 to 8 there uh, owned by David you know who you are um, looks amazing it really inspired me and is uh, making me push on even harder to get my car up to that standard which is a pretty high standard um, Anyway, enough rambling. Um, as ever, thank you very much. I'm going to re need to work out what I'm going to do next week, whether I'm going to carry on uh, with the stuff to get the car moving and driving better, or if I'm going to take a little uh, diversion. There's a few electrical things I want to do, like the brake lights don't work, the fuel sender I never wired up, uh, the electric windows don't work, and I actually got locked in the car earlier. Um, so if I had the window up, down, I could have helped myself get out. Um, anyway. Uh, as ever, thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave me comments and I'll see you next week.